hello you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Abiyah Beignet and I live in my 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan full-time and I have a full-time job office job so I'm pretty much confined in an area where I can go to work Monday through Friday but today, um, I am sharing with you guys my basement. I have not been in my basement for over two months since I've been full-time. Um, and there is something that I need in my basement um, for another video that I will be doing later, which is my sleeping bag. So I decided after work today, hopefully it don't get dark on us. <laughs> But we're gonna go in my basement and get my sleeping bag. And then I'm also, while I'm there, I'm just gonna share with you guys some items that I have in my basement, okay? So come along, let's go downstairs to the bike smith. Yeah. <laughs> See the police, tell them to leave me alone. I'm out of my business and it's daylight, okay? Perfect. why I want to redo my shelf the shelf right here I want to redo it so that I can fit my fridge underneath there and have and, and stack the shelf up higher to the top of the car or the roof of the car that way I can still access my garage no sorry y'all I can access my basement without having to move my fridge every time but anyways, <clears throat> we're going to get it together, okay? All right. So, as you know, Dodge Grand Caravans have stow-and-go seats. So I did take one of my seats out, which I put in there um, stuff that I don't use that often. Tools, and tarps, and stuff I don't use that often. However, when I first started van lifing part-time... I would put first I used to store my clothes in there well <clears throat> I had one of those oil mosquito things sentinel I don't know I say it wrong my mama corrects me all the time <laughs> but I had and I had that oil stuff for the mosquitoes and it spilt in my van and it spilt on this side and it stunk up all my clothes so I said Having my clothes down here is not going to work. And it was very inconvenient to have to move stuff from on top of here just to get to my clothes on a daily basis. So I decided to store my clothes under the bed and use this space as a basement to store things that I don't use that often. So, so we are going to get down in here I removed this carpet and I did have this rug here I did cut it up so that I am able to just uh, 
Pull this back like that. And then, oh, let me stand up. I don't know if you guys can see. Pull this back and I'm able to lift up the seat. Okay. So, what does she have in there? Hmm. <laughs> okay. What do I have in the basement? Well, I have this big, huge backpack in the basement. And what's in this backpack is my blue tarp. I put it in the backpack for a reason, because since it's on the ground, I didn't want, you know, I do sweep it before I put it up, but I just didn't want any dirt or any possible things, whatever, um, just to make my garage dirty. So I just put it in the backpack, stuff it in there, and that's a blue tarp from Walmart. So I'm not gonna pull the tarp out because I'm sure you guys know what a tarp look like. <laughs> so usually in my basement, I keep my tools, things that I don't use that often. So here I have my cord that goes to my, um, in case I want for my portable stove, in case I want to use, um, like butane fuel fits right in there, but in case I have propane, I do have the cord to hook up the propane with this cord, so that stays in there. Usually when I cook, I use uh, but uh, butane. Um, here I have a nice, what they call this a mallet? Yeah, I'm not that good at naming stuff. Anyways, it's a mallet and I bought this to hammer in stakes for my tarps and my little tent that you saw when I went to Bass River Resort. So I, that's a mallet. Girl got a hat hook too. Girl got a hat hook too. What is this? This is, oh, an extra battery pack for my uh, camcorder, my camera. Yeah, these are extra batteries for my camcorder. So that's something that I don't, need to have out in the open and use all the time so I store it in there there's one item that I think everyone should have and that's mr. duct tape say hi mr. duct tape duct tape fixes everything in case you need it in case I need it I have it okay so here I have extra mosquito netting um, that I use in my vehicle or to cover a window or something but I have um, this one covers this area right here and these right here in case I want to ventilate the, the, the uh, far rear um, windows that push out um, I have these on both sides and how I secure these is with magnets to the vehicle so I have those Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. What is this for? I forgot. Because this is for the stove. What is this for? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But it goes to some. This is for the stove. For the um, propane. For my gas one stove. Okay. So this item is hand warmers, which will be, I'll be talking about this on my next video. So we're gonna take that out. And here I have extra netting, netted bags or something, which is similar to what this is right here. I use this, this is, everyone has a junk drawer. Well, I have a junk bag where I just stuff stuff in there, okay? So if I ever need more, I have four more. It came in a pack of five. And I believe I purchased this from Amazon. I love these bags. You can put fruit in them. They're really cool. You can put fruit in them. Just 
books, socks, clothes, just whatever you, whatever, you know, goes with your flow of life. But I have extra ones. Um, and I store those in the basement. Hey, yeah, I see the police. Why they, you see the police? Tell them to leave me alone. I'm out of my business and it's daylight, okay? <laughs> Show it is. He didn't stop and say nothing. Actually, I am at <laughs> Target parking lot. So let's go on. What else we got down here? I think I might want to take this out and make this somewhere more accessible. But this is a handy duty first aid kit. And I'm gonna take it out because I think this is important to have. In case of an emergency, I won't have to move my fridge, my ottoman, that's what it's called, an ottoman and stuff like that. So I'm gonna leave this out, but this is a nice little handy first aid kit that I purchased from Amazon. Okay, it has all you need, all your essentials, okay? In case I get hurt or in case someone else gets hurt, I can help them, okay? So I'm gonna leave this out and put that somewhere more accessible. So yeah, so I do have several of these little warmer things that, I'm, that we're gonna talk about in my next video. And let's see. Now I'm kind of picky, so I don't usually sometimes like going to like campgrounds and just sitting on their benches that they have there because sometimes they're just really dirty. So um, I did buy this. I don't know if I got this from Amazon or from the dollar store or something, but I bought this and it, and it, and it covers as a table cover um, and it comes with little um, brackets on there to kind of hold the cover to the table in case it gets windy. I have not used it yet um, because I do have my own tables, but this is something that I, I see myself using in the future. So I don't think it's a waste of money. Ah, see, I'll be, I got issues y'all. I got two of them. What was I thinking? See, that's my problem. I forget that I buy stuff and then I buy it again and then I end up with two. So I have two of these and two collapsible sinks. Yeah, sweet deal. Anyways, okay, so this is extra. I, um, this is extra, um, what do you call that? Carpet runner that I have, just extra that I use for under my under my cot for my mattress so my cot mattress don't slide okay these are very these right here are very very interesting and I'm gonna tell you why I have not used them yet but this these were a suggestion from Mini Van Lee that pretty much you know resides in Arizona and down in that area she travels to California but she mainly resides in Arizona and she is definitely has the experience and the knowledge of dealing with Arizona heat and this is something that she recommended because eventually I'm gonna make my way to Arizona y'all but she mentioned that she bought these and what she does with these is if the sun is beaming in on her vehicle, um, like one direction, she'll take these, I'll show, give you a close up. She'll take these and cover her car where the sun is beaming on, from the outside. And it helps to reflect the sun away from the car to help keep the car cooler. So, and you know, one of my problems is I worry and I panic and I think about things too much and I don't like to be without sometimes. So I did buy these and you guys, I bought, yeah, mm -hmm. it gets even bad. It gets even worse. Mm -hmm. I got four, okay. Well, she had several, so I thought I should have several. 
because I will be in Arizona. So these may come in handy and I'm not getting rid of these, okay? These are survival, heavy duty survival blankets, okay? I ain't used it yet, but I got them. In addition to that, every woman needs a tool kit, okay? So I do have a tool kit. I do have a tool kit. And I believe I purchased this little baby from Ikea. It has just basic stuff, you know? I don't plan on doing too many mechanical things, but at least I have the basics. So that's in the basement. In addition, I have, uh, I think I got this from Ikea too, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I purchased, but I got my, you know, uh, flashlight with some batteries. That's in the basement. Okay. And in case I got to get down and dirty and some stuff, I got gloves. <laughs> so my hands can stay clean. Okay. Yeah. Got some gloves. If I got to get dirty. Okay. So another thing that everybody needs, everybody probably will use, is bungee cords. <laughs> I have bungee cords. You never know when you're going to need them. You never know. Especially for a person who has a no build van. We tend to bungee cord things together to make sure that in drive mode they don't fall and tip over. So I definitely have these bungee cords and I definitely have more than just these. So if I see you on the road and you need a bungee cord, just give me a holler. I'll share with you. I sure will. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got some more, some more goodies. <laughs> Here is my grill top. I got this off Amazon and I have not used it yet. Um, I just have not used it yet, but it's a grill top and you can set it up like this. It has legs like that. And um, you set it up, it has a, a, a grated, a grilled surface and a flat surface. So you can cook food on this side and that side, have your fire underneath and you have your own grill. So um, I thought that I would definitely be using that, but I haven't used it yet, but I definitely will be using this definitely so and I like the fact that it comes with its own case so after you use it when it gets all dirty um, you won't be getting all that dirt and stuff in your van just on the bag so I do, I do like that concept and it doesn't take up much space so definitely will be using that in the future okay so here is my sleeping bag so i'm gonna put that up there and we're gonna say that for the next video we are almost done with the basement guys okay i do got some paint in here my sister sells um pre-drawn canvases and she gave me a canvas and gave me some Real paint. Remember I went painting by the river and the, you, the paint just wasn't right. It, it was glow in the dark paint. I want, no. So my sister was so nice and so generous and gave me some paint. Mm, love you, sister. Oh. And I did want to take this out too. I do have a fire spray, a fire extinguisher. It's in a can. It's not your typical one that you normally see all the time. But I do have this as an emergency, so I probably should take this out and leave this out for emergency case situations that's gonna be easily accessible. So I'm gonna lay this up here because I'm gonna leave that out. Oh, we got some more paint. <laughs> Maybe we should go paint again. What y'all think? Okay, here I have some more mosquito netting that I purchased. Um, because the mosquitoes were terrible this summer, y'all. But this is full of mosquito netting. Um, so I do have extra mosquito netting. So if you need some mosquito netting, you know, I got you, girl. I got you, got you. Okay, what else do I have down here? 
I have some additional command strips. Um, and I have big ones. And I have smaller ones. And what I use the big ones for basically is to hang up my lights and stuff, you know, um, just to hang up stuff. I use these command strips. Okay, this right here is, I believe it's an additional LED lights. Yeah. I have another reel of um, LED lights that's in my van that I did not have not used yet that I could use if I need more lighting but I found that what I have in there is just enough so in case those get ruined or damaged I have another one already I believe it came like that with this much in there so that's what that is so like I said stuff down here is stuff that I don't use often and stuff for storage. Now this next item is something that I did need to get. Um, I do need to take out right now because this is the time to take it out because I believe this is a, oh, you know, this is a carbon monoxide detector. I do need to take that out since it is getting colder outside i probably will be doing more meals inside my van which i don't really do a lot of cooking inside my van out of just being paranoid about everything <laughs> you know so i'm gonna take this out and get this operable um i thought that it would also be like a thermometer that can take the temperature in my van, but it doesn't. It's only a carbon monoxide alarm. And I do believe that I purchased this off Amazon. I cannot give you a product review as the product is still in the package and I've never used it. But we will soon set this up because when we talk about my heating options, you'll see why. And some more bungee cords. That's pretty much what's in my basement, guys. The only thing that's left is, you know, I do keep my manuals and my instructions for, for you know, my equipment and stuff. So I do keep those. And those go in my basement. So come take a look. Because it's empty. <laughs> it's empty. Yeah. So I did take that seat out. The rest of the seats are still intact um, because I, the way that I wanted my 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 build to go, I knew that I wouldn't need I not need that I would not be able to access those areas. However, if I had the other seat out, I could stuff stuff in there and have more space. But I didn't think about that then, so I'm okay. So. I just wanted to share with you guys what Abia keeps in her basement in her Dodge Grand Caravan. And it's not quite a lot of stuff, but it does fill it up pretty well. And yeah, so we're just going to put this stuff back in there because I got what I needed out of it. And I'm so happy to share this with you guys.
all done. <laughs> you guys, it's a pretty nice day. Evening, I should say. It's probably around 5.15 p.m. I came here straight from off work just to do this because I needed to get the sleeping bag for one um, and the warmers that I have because it's about to get cold. It's about to get chilly and unfortunately, I can't just travel west or southwest. I can't just travel that direction just yet um, considering I still have a job. So, um, I'm going to have to make do with the best that I have, to the best of my knowledge. And safety is always number one in my mind. So, I'm definitely looking forward to sharing my next video with you on um, a few options that I have to stay warm as I'm not an expert, I'm learning. So um, we're gonna learn together on this. And um, I think, uh, yeah, I think I checked it today. Um, an, one item that um, I ordered from Amazon, it's supposed to be delivered to my mom's house tomorrow. Um, and I think that is the last item that I need to do the other, video of my heating options in my van so until then um you guys shalom have a blessed day thank you for watching and if you want to continue to follow this journey of mine please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my episodes because life for me right now is just unsure sometimes <laughs> um yeah so you just never know so go ahead okay all right i'm gonna shut up because i you know what yeah i'm gonna say it again i talk too much okay love ya you guys have a good and blessed day talk to you soon bye, bye.